Hey, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird, designer of Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. So, um, I uh, just uh, uploaded a video a few minutes ago, but this is part two on a, a little project I've been working on. I wanted to design a form of um, a 3D uh, um, invisible kind of a screen paint uh, that basically that you can paint on steel or you can paint on aluminum. Um, so far, um, it has it's been working pretty good, pretty good. Um, this is one of the uh, second tests that I'm actually running right now. I have a few more to do. I learned one thing that you can't use it with a paint roller, and I tried using it with a paintbrush, which is not a good idea. But the only way that you'll be able to apply this would have to be sprayed on. Now let me zoom in real close so you can see the film right there. That's on the uh, cookie sheet, or aluminum cookie pan right there. And I'll show you that it's not just an everyday piece of tin. And I'm going to zoom back out and show you the demonstration. I'm using a projector, and yes, the projector is sitting very close to the screen, but that's not the demonstration dem on a clarity. The demonstration space to show you that how well the 3D performance works on just a everyday piece of sheet metal, or if you're going to use a piece of sheet metal, or basically the tin, or which I'm using right here, the aluminum cookie pan. So let me remove this real quick. Get that out of the way there. Sorry, my messy background. And let's hit this demonstration real quick. It works just fine. It works amazing. And it reacts to the uh, cheap uh, polarized glasses. screen now if you see this like bar lighting up across it that's not hot spotting that's the uh, the uh, 10 back up here a little bit but it does react in 3d It's just one of the simple test demonstrations. I have a lot more to go. It's really interesting to look at, especially when you're using the uh, polarized glasses. Let me show you the glasses that I'm using if I have them around here. Oh, they're on the floor. There we go. Okay, so these are the glasses I'm using, just basic, everyday polarized glasses. I don't know if you're going to get the same reaction through this, but yeah. This is what I'm using right here. Let's try to put it in front of the camera, see what would happen, but uh, it didn't work. So the lines in between what you're seeing right here on my end I'm not seeing that but the camera's picking it up all right so let me go out of this real quick and show you how well it reacts to just looking at everyday stuff on YouTube so I'm gonna come out of this for a minute see this very well. Move my projector back here a little bit. I'm going to adjust it a little bit here. There we go. And this is just one of the, uh, I'm still testing this, still a lot of work to be done, but as you can see, like, everything is readable, but um, as in for the 3D application, it, it works actually amazing. I just still have a lot more work to do with it. Um, it's just one of the first and many demonstrations I'm going to be doing on this particular a form of 3D film. Well, I'm Kenneth Bird from Digital One Crystal Screen Paint. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for watching.